and television dude here and this is my updated cracked magazine collection video uh in another video i'll be doing mad magazine and cartoons or there was another one called cartoons as well but this one i want just to be strictly devoted to cracked while i love magas mag mad magazine to death and i love it a lot i've always liked cracked magazine a little bit more but it's so close. It's so close that I don't really... I hate to say one over the other. I really hate to say that. But if I... But I'm actually... I'm thinking about starting to collect Crack Magazine. I, I, I got me this checklist here from the internet. Someone provided it. And I just crossed off everything that I own. And it actually seems like I have more than, what's on, than what I've crossed off. I, I swear it looks like I still need way too many. To even think about starting this collection. What I want to collect the most are the collector's editions. I feel like that's doable. And those are my favorite issues anyway. Even though I believe the collector's editions are nothing like nothing but like best of. Like best of articles from other issues. But I've always liked those the best. So where to start? Here's my reprint of number one. Which you'll be seeing again in its correct order. Let me move this back so... And here's an actual number three. And an actual number four. Let me make sure on that. It's actually on the back. Yeah, number four. Number five. I was lucky to get these, these early ones. Number six. And number seven. Here's number 16, which is out of order. I mean, not out of order, but uh, seven to 16, unfortunately. There was none, nothing in between. But all those came from a, a, a lot I got off eBay last year. Now, uh, some of these came from my friend Sam. Some of these came from a yard sale. And uh, two of them came from a flea market, but most of these, 90% of these, came from my childhood. Well, every time we'd go to the grocery store, I would uh, put in a Mad Magazine, a Crack Magazine in the cart, and my mother would buy it. Sometimes she would, uh, sometimes she'd complain, like, more magazines? Don't you have enough of these? But she ended up buying them anyway. Here's number 107 in bad shape. I think I got this one at a yard sale. I don't think that came from Sam, but I lost track of these. Here we go. 109. A lot of these are not in bad sh best shape. I don't I don't uh, keep them in good shape. They've been just in, a, in a storage box. I need to get like a magazine box. If I was smart, I'd get like cardboards or everything. I've never been about keeping everything in the best shape. I just never have. 119. Some hardcore collectors are going to be like, man, you, you're handling these things just so wrong. It's it's killing me. 121. One twenty three. Planet of the Apes. One seven. 170, uh, 163. I was looking at the date. Sorry. Mork and Mindy. I believe there was a lot of Mork and Mindy uh, ones and Dukes of Hazard ones going through the uh, the cover sites, cover gallery sites. Dukes of Hazard, 170. 172. More Dukes of Hazard with chips. Well, there's plenty of Star Wars ones. I don't, I don't know if I, I don't think I have enough of the Star Wars though. We got number oh, 173, 177, which may or may not be the one from my childhood that I lost. If you saw my other video, 181. No one. I'll look there. I'm looking at the date again. 181, <laughs> 179. Dukes of Hazard and Popeye. 
Dukes Hazard again. You got Mash for uh, 182. My nose is all stuffed up. 184. Sorry for the sniffing. 185. More Dukes of Hazard. One eighty six. This one uh, was cut off, so I had to figure out what it was. Oh, it was one eighty seven, was it? Hold on, I, my checklist will tell me. Because after one eighty six is one eighty seven. So this was one eighty seven. It was the Love Boat one, but I lost the cover somewhere in my childhood. And then 194. It's a big gap in there. These actually came from my childhood, but there was a big gap between uh, 180, uh, what I say? 187 and 194. Try to look, look at my checklist. I guess that's not a big gap. 198. I hate these ones without covers. It just bugs me. 199. Oh, nice Jedi one. Jabba. 202. Two ten. And I am recording with a webcam, so I have to look behind me once in a while to see what I'm showing. Which stinks. I, maybe one day I'll, I'll upgrade to a better camera, but for now, I'd rather invest my money in other things. 214. This one's on the inside, because for some reason there's no number on the outside of this one. Not that I could see anyway, unless it's an optical illusion. This one's 216. 220. Two twenty-two, two twenty-four, two twenty-five, two Two twenty-eight, two twenty-nine, which actually says for monsters only, but is not actually one of the for monsters only subsets. There's a subset like the collector's edition and the giant cracked and the king size cracked that's called for monsters only. But I think that is not part of that. I think that's just a, a regular issue. This one, it uh, covers falling off. Number uh, 231, 232, 233, 234. Look, Don Martin. This might be the first issue with Don Martin when he jumped over to Cracked. Might be. I'd have to look. Here's another Don Martin one, 235. That was a big thing. Don Martin is Cracked. I don't remember, I don't remember how long he uh, stayed there, though. 237. 238, 240, and we jump to one I got from the thrift store, 324. Now I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back. 
All right, I'm back. I wanted to uh, mention somebody. I I just joined a Facebook group on a uh, a Crack Magazine Facebook group, and of all people, someone who used to be uh, part of Crack Magazine is in the group. His name is Mort Todd. He said he was also a former editor in chief, and he mentioned some of the issues that that he that he did, and this was one of them. I just thought that was really cool. Can't believe someone from Crack Magazine is actually in a group that I'm in. <laughs> now, where do I go next? Uh, we'll do these over here. We'll do the the, the collector's editions last because those are my favorites. Uh, I need to find a. Let me scoot these over so I can put them over here. I think that makes sense. We got Blockbuster number one. Uh, some of these I might not be writing rating off the numbers because they're just they're too confusing without go checking my checklist. Super Crack number one, which is actually Crack Super number one. Uh, there's a story behind that where I just found out just recently that there is no Crack uh, Super Cracked number twenty seven. It does not exist. Something went wrong. Maybe some editorial differences. That that magazine never happened. So instead. They started a new series called Crack Super Number One, and I think this may have been what what was supposed to be Cracked Super Crack Number Twenty Seven. But to make it more confusing, it says Super Cracked, even though it's supposed to be Crack Super, and it's very confusing. And here it says Super Cracked. There it says Super Cracked. Uh, that's the only issue I have out of that set, though, because these are the actual Super Cracked. This is fall 1980. Let me this back some. Like, uh, winter of 81. I'll just have to say them that way. This, oh, this one's number 32. They, some of these are numbered. Uh, okay, that's the last of those. Then there's Giant Cracked. Giant Cracked, March of 80. July of 80. Uh, these actually might be going backwards. Because I'm not sure which one this one is. This is the ninth annual. And this one... This is King Size Crack. Summer of 81. Seventh annual. So some of them will say which number they are. Some only say uh, the month and everything. Here's a uh, giant crack number forty-six. That, that's out of order then, because that should have been what the giant cracked. The art of Severin. I just saw something uh, in the Facebook group saying, "How come this isn't in a hard hardcover?" Because this is the art of Severin. This is like, uh, Severin is like considered, uh, up there with like Don Martin from Mad for being like one of the best artists, you know. Crack cover, the cracked cover art of John Severin. Who's that other guy from Mad who I like even more than Don Martin? Can't remember his name until I do the mad thing. I'll know it. I'll know it then. I think it's a. Uh, it's actually right up here on the shelf behind me. I believe Sergio Argonis, Argonis, or Aragonese, or, or <laughs> I'm probably butchering his name like crazy. Is what I'm doing. I, I, li I actually like his stuff just as much as Don Martin, if not more. Extra special cracked. Winter of 1980. I guess the only one I have of those. The biggest, greatest cracked. Whatever which one this one is. I wrote it down. I checked it off anyway. Here's my other one, which seems to be falling apart. 
I did check them off. And a king size crack. I guess that got out of order because I did my king size crack already. And then finally, uh, just one stack left over here. We'll start with uh, the Cracked Digest number four. And number three. They only made uh, five of these. Uh, these are my Cracked Collector's Editions dating back to 1980, unfortunately. Only 1980. So I guess this would, this would be number 38. I believe that's the only one I'm going to mention number on unless there's a number on the magazine itself what I like about the collector's editions are the monster editions I love the monster editions even though they say that it's all reprinted stuff from their issues but that's I just love the covers and, and I kind of like it's like a best of I love that so I, I really love these so much. I, I love the covers. They're just so awesome. I want to get all the monster ones. Here's uh, one of my all-time favorites, the video game ones. Uh, is this the one I repurchased? I repur There's two of these, and I repurchased one of these because it was missing the cover, and it was probably this one because it said free T-shirt iron on inside. You know... Uh, that's the thing about me collecting crack magazine more hardcore is that I don't know if I have the money to because I collect so many things I put so much money into video games and old toys and uh, video game memorabilia uh, I would love to complete my old school gar garbage pail kids collection just so many things that I put money into mainly video games that as much as I would love to get uh, really, really get hardcore into Cracked, I might just have to do it occasionally. So that's the video game edition from 82, and there's another one. Now this is the one where I wasn't sure which one it was, because it doesn't have a cover. And it doesn't say the year, or the number, or anything on the inside. So I believe I have figured out that... Hold on here. I might still have the site up. I believe I, I'm going to guess, which I might be wrong, that this could be number 52 from uh, February of 83. But since I don't have the cover anymore, I don't know. The cover does look slightly familiar. Slightly familiar. But I probably would have lost that back back then. I probably would have lost that cover way back then, so the memory is kind of faint. So I'm 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 just gonna guess that it's number fifty-two. If someone is watching this, can tell me if this is number fifty-two or not. Let me know. I'll show off a couple pages here. here well, th this this would be the main page. You'd be able to tell on. It's got Lurch there, Doctor Jekyll, and Mister Hyde. Godzilla's over there. The mummy. The wolfman. I always loved the crack lens. That was one thing cracked was so great at. Count Conrad's corner over here. There's a crossword on this side. If you can tell me if this if that is that issue, let me know. Here's May of 83. Let me point my camera. I still probably won't get all that in. Here's my other video games one. Surprisingly, this one from my childhood still has its cover and is in halfway decent condition. Unlike the other one, which was destroyed, it was missing its cover. It was missing one of the pages. February of 84. The Shut Ups from 84, May of 84. February of 85. 
September of 85. I guess he's supposed to be a mixture of the two. <laughs> Mr. T, Michael Jackson. Yeah. These, these, actually starting with this one, are actually starting to be numbered. Number 62, number 64, number 65... Number 66. Sixty-seven. Right? What, what, what am I... What are the... Yeah, sixty-seven. Now, this one I wanted to mention something on. Is that, uh... uh back when I started getting these magazines, I'll be honest. I did not like reading the full stories. You know, like, each issue would have a full... Like, like a full story... Some full stories comedy stories and then it would have a, a bunch of little one-shot things like the crack shut-ups and things like that I always preferred the simpler to read things when I was a kid like the crack shut-ups and things like that little one-shot cartoons not much reading involved but one of the few things I liked to read was the nanny dickering interviews my favorite one all-time favorite one, I don't know which issue it's in, was when Na Nanny Dickering was interviewing the football players. I, I believe, uh, I, I know for a fact that is my favorite one. All-time favorite one. I, I don't believe that's in here. And... Is this, uh... The many looks of Nanny Dickering. I prefer that look there. Which is also that look there, I believe. These, I don't care who these are. <laughs> Here is uh, the first reprint of number one, which is Clack Crack Collector's Edition number 70. I guess you turn it over and it's got the crack number one, which is not the same as the other one that I showed earlier, which I'll still be getting to. I hear both of these reprints of number one are edited out, I mean, edited some, so that it's not everything that's from number one. There's number 71, 73. Crack Monster Party. You know, uh, is there a subset called Crack Monster Party? Yeah, there is. But I don't think that is with this, is it? Wait. Number 73. Did I did I mess up? No, there is no Crack Monster Party number 73. So it's got to be part of the Collector's Edition. Yeah, Crack Collector's Edition Special. I guess that makes it more confusing. Because there is... A cracked monster party subset. Which I don't have any of them. Here's number 74. 30 years of cracked. This one is missing its cover. And I think I found out it was uh, number 75 because it says so right there. This was the 1980 Sylvie Awards. I did match it up, though. I did match it up on the cover site. Now, here is the the other issue of the same reprint of number one, which actually looks like the front and back cover. Hold on. But I hear it's still edited out, edited a little bit. This would be Crack Collector's Edition number 97. So that's my double, which I don't need. Like I said, I told anybody, anybody out there, just message me, and I'll send it to you free of charge. Just You just got to pay for shipping. Shipping on that, oh, geez, that, that, that won't be much. Two, three bucks max. It'll probably be in the $2 range, more than likely. And finally, Crack Collector's Edition number 111. This with that Beavis and Butthead issue were two that I found at a thrift store around here. I think it was a thrift store. I think I said flea market earlier, didn't I? But I think it was a thrift store. 
I normally don't find these kind of things at thrift stores, but if I do, I'm buying them. And that was my Cracked Collector's Edition. Like I said, it's, it seems like I should have crossed off more. <laughs> and I really want to get on the Cracked Collector's Edition. I swear, the, the, to do this easier, it'd be, be, be best to get a buy these in big collections. Big lots. But unfortunately, you'll probably get a lot of doubles that way, too. And I don't know how hardcore I'm going to get into this, like I said. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And uh, stay tuned for a Mad Magazine collection. And that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching.